Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel, Sister Squad Family TV. And on the latest, the Queen is a supporter of the Black Lives Matter movement. A palace insider has said. So the Queen supports Black Lives Matter, claims Sir Ken Olisa OBE, her first Black Lord Lieutenant for London. Sir Ken Olisa said that the royals care passionately about making this one nation bound by the same values. So the question is, will the tabloids call the Queen woke? Because the tabloids, GB News and all the other bigoted papers have said that Black Lives Matter is a political organization. So black people asking for basic human rights is political and they've said that they do that and then they call people woke so in this case will the tabloids call the queen woke i don't think so people so saken or lisa obe the queen's first black law lieutenant for london told channel 4 news that he had discussed the issue of racial equality with the royal family since the murder of george floyd in may 2020 mr floyd's death at the hands of u.s police packed anti-racism demonstration around the globe i have discussed with the royal household this whole issue of race particularly in the last 12 months since the george floyd incident sir ken said added that the royal family care passionately about making this one nation bound by the same values while the royal family is busy protecting their pedophile prince andrew and also prince charles latest candles cash for access prince charles for sale people obe for sale citizenship for sale that's the royal family those are the values that the royal family wants every single person to be bound by race it's a hot conversation topic the question is what more can we do to bind society to remove these barriers he said when asked if the pilot supports the black lives matter movement so i can't say the answer is easily yes the royal family came under fire earlier this year after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle accused an unnamed senior member of the racism. During an explosive interview with Oprah, Meghan said that one unnamed member of the family asked how dark will the baby be of the mixed race couple's unborn child. The allegation led to crisis meetings in the palace, which later issued a source statement acknowledging the allegations were concerning and said they would be addressed by the family privately. While in that same private meeting, the family decided to accuse Meghan Markle of bullying. The woman that has openly been bullied for five years was accused of bullying people. Open your eyes. He who has eyes, let him see what Meghan Markle has had to endure at the hands of this bigoted family that calls itself royal. Speaking to reporters days after the bombshell interview, the Duke of Cambridge insisted the royals are very much not a racist family while accusing the black biracial woman, the first one to ever join them in such a long time. Of being a bully after being openly bullied being insulted accused of crimes against humanity for just being biracial as greater london lord lieutenant sir ken's role is to support the monarch and the royal family in greater london and to help improve social inclusion in the capital good luck with that because kensington palace isn't even willing to publish his own diversity report According to the Left and Sea website, Saken also acts as a bridge builder to connect individuals, organizations, social networks with the goal of enhancing London's sense of belonging. He works across London to promote of, of civic, commercial, voluntary, and social activities within London, and thus is part of the fabric of London in all its manifestations. The role was created more than 500 years ago, and Saken became the first Black Briton to hold it when he was appointed in 2015. He became the first one. To ever join them since 2015. Don't forget that the Queen has secured the exemption against race and sex discrimination. Do not forget that. That has indeed happened, people. That has happened in the UK. And that's not the only exemption the Queen has. She has the exemptions against climate change, exemptions. She has many, many exemptions. And that's what people in the UK should expect from their lovely, amazing Queen of England. And I tell you, people, and it's just disgusting how, how hypocritical these people are. Because I'm thinking that the Queen really needs a good PR at this time. That's why they're doing this, basically. I ah, see the only members of the British family who are publicly commented specifically Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter are Megan, who gave a speech in support, and Mike Tindall, who said he didn't support it. Harry has talked about ending systemic racism. This won't go well. So the Daily Fail commentators, the racist Daily Fail commentators, I think that's the proper name for them, say this is what they had to say about the Queen 
supporting Black Lives Matter, uh, allegedly supporting Black Lives Matter, because you all know that's a lie. This is what they said. Why would the Queen support a Marxist organization which undoubtedly believes the monarchy should be abolished? I don't believe it, and it shouldn't be blabbing about private conversation either. Not every, not very professional or dignified. Easier to support movement where all lives matter, and we do not don't have to apologize for who we are and treat everyone with respect. Unfortunately, none of that ever happens, especially to people of color people. So a commentator from Rachel E. Cagle said, unless the racism is addressed and eradicated in the places you are looking to make diverse, you are simply bringing people of color into violent and unsafe spaces. Those are facts, plain facts, people. She said, make all my emojis black-skinned. Probably. We all know that what happened today with the Queen and this, that she's a black lives matter, is all a fuss. After watching both Meghan Markle and her children being racially abused, she kept her mouth shut. She should continue keeping her mouth shut about it because we all know it's a lie. And then someone else here said, you've got to try harder than this, Betty. The Queen and the royal family are supporters of the Black Lives Matter movement, one of her Majesty's representatives has said. So documents, so Buckingham Palace banned ethnic minorities from office roles, papers revealed. So apparently the Queen should really check her policies in the palace because you all know that people of color are only employed there if you are for the four servants position. So exclusive documents also shed light on Queen's ongoing exemption from race and sex discrimination laws. Prince William says we are very much not a racist family and he hasn't spoken to Harry yet but plans to. And then Prince Andrew used the N word meeting Buckingham Palace during Buckingham Palace meeting, former Downing Street AD claims. So Princess Michael of Kent apologized for racist jewelry worn at lunch for with Meghan Markle. We all know Princess Michael of Kent is a complete racist, so not surprising. Not to mention the high levels of racism by other people, like Prince Charles calls Asian's friend Sooty. The racist comments and chants by every single person there is just played to see. Not to mention the Duke and, Duch- and Duchess of Cambridge lack of diversity staff. They can't even hire anyone black to work for them. That should tell you everything you need to know. And don't worry, even when Barack Obama visited, the royal family hides the word Degro on palace painting when Barack Obama visited. Because this is who they are. Racist. They can't hide it. It's their, it's their past. It's their present. It's who they are, and they cannot hide it. The royal family is a racist royal family, because black lives matter do not matter. Black lives do not matter to the royal family. After what they did to Meghan Markle, after what they did to both her children, it does not matter to them. We all know this to be completely true. So a friend of mine called uh, Femi said, "I'm going to wake up to clown saying the royal family." Back Black Lives Matter, and now Femi thinks they are racist. Don't care. They watch Megan be implicated in multiple murders by the press and said absolutely nothing. They kept their mouths shut when Megan Markle was being bullied, insulted, and racially abused. They kept their mouths shut, and they should learn to keep their mouths shut even now as we speak. But now the reputation is at risk. They support Black Lives Matter. Sure, of course we believed it. We remember what happened to Meghan Markle at the hands of the Daily Fail. Is Meghan's favorite, favorite snack fueling doubt and murder? Meghan's 500,000 diamond earrings are not borrowed, but a wedding gift from Saudi Crown Prince but won by Duchess three weeks after he approved the assassination of Jamal Khashoggi in consulate. We've seen the smear campaign against Meghan Markle. They can't even pretend to hide it. And we've saw what has happened to Meghan Markle here. So, so now that the reputation, reputation is at risk, they, are, they support Black Lives Matter. Of course, I don't buy it, and neither should you. Forget the Queen for a second, Femi says. Before this headline, I had no strong view that the royal family was an institution was racist. But the fact that they are only willing to discuss the politics of racism to defend members who aren't Megan from the press speaks volumes. Those are facts, people. Those are absolute facts. And, uh, and then, big fan, but the Daily Mail is a racist publication. And that exactly. The Queen spoken out against the press before with Sophie and Shake It. And the royal family challenged press stories they don't like constantly. Yes, silent on racism towards even infants in their family. So an employee suddenly claims that claiming the British family care about Black Lives Matter feels performative. Completely, absolutely, completely. We've all seen what Meghan Markle has had to go through, without a shadow of a doubt. And still they all kept quiet. They should keep keeping quiet because that's what they're really, really good at. Megan and her children have been 
racially abused by the UK press and establishment, and the royal family has never came to their defense or shown an ounce of public support. Instead, the palace helped the press abuse them, so the palace can keep their fake PR allyship for Black Lives Matter. Those are complete facts. Facts, people. I think I'm going to stop there, people. Tell us what you think about this queen. Is the queen woke? What do you think about this? Will the tabloids, or better yet, will the tabloids call the queen woke out of supporting Black Lives Matter or saying that she's supporting Black Lives Matter, which we all know is a lie and based on PR. She's looking for PR, people. And we're not buying it. We are absolutely not buying it. Tell us what you think. Please click the link in bio and please subscribe to my channel and help our audience grow. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Love you guys.